Hello and welcome back as we continue our run through of Tomb Raider 2013, the first, the second reboot even. It's not the first reboot, the first reboot was uh, Legend and Underworld, which um, I'm actually a big fan of. I would play through them if I was able to record off of a console, but I'm not, so we're doing this one instead. So, where are we going? So right now, um, I'm just trying to get a couple of episodes out of the way in one go really. Um, so right now we're heading over to the ship to get some sort of block and tackle, um, which we think we can find by finding something on the old sailing ship over there. Which I have a feeling is probably going to entail killing even more people. Down we go. Whoop. And then jump, swing. At the very least, I think I get noticeably more sort of comfortable with the controls, which kind of also reflects Lara getting more comfortable with doing all this stuff, I think. Behind cover. Sounds like they got guns. I don't know. What do you think? Radio's been dead for hours. Cut off, brother. What the hell are we gonna do? God damn it. Shut up for a second. Let me think. Something's going on. You saw the smoke coming from the mountain. Yeah? But that could mean anything. We'll go in at nightfall. Huh? That guy was white there. Oh, come on. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's probably going to be a bit better. So I can actually. Ow! He hit me right in the goddamn head. Right, over we go then. So, thankfully that didn't turn into too big of a gunfight. That was weird, because he was definitely white, but he did still alert his friend, which, um, is not how that's supposed to work, Tomb Raider. Okay, up we get. Any more guys around here? Not that I can. She? Let's try jumping up. Nope, can't jump up there. So we go round instead. Jump. Right across. This feels very reminiscent of old Tomb Raider to me, the sailing ship. I don't know why. There's nothing about it that's particularly different than other levels, but for some reason it just screams old Tomb Raider game to me. There it is. Man, it's a good thing that survived. Oh god. Okay, I'll just bring the whole mask down. That's cool. You know how we do how we do. Oh yeah, Sam took the other gun, didn't she? Yeah. yeah, we'll we'll get to that, but that is one of my favourite moments at the end of this game. Um, which I'll talk about when we get there. Shit. This thing's falling apart. Let's get out of here. Stay where you are. It might be them. Get down, get down, get down. What do we do? Oh, Just there's a mine out in the, the ocean there. Uh, are either of these guys going to become white at any point? Nope. And if he's coming over here. Get over here! What the hell? Oh, it's your mind. Just take cover behind his body. Okay. Yeah, you stay back there. Oh no, I'm actually gonna lose that body and all the salvage on it. All that lovely salvage all gone to waste. Oh well. You are one with the fish people now, my friend. Now there was a mine off the edge here, there we go. Oh yeah. There's a relic. <coughs> this was used by scribes of the a small engraving indicates that this Oh, oh, that's interesting, because obviously what some of the journals that we've been finding were the journals of an ambassador, an ambassador even, ambassador. Um, yeah, so obviously that's that's his, or at least I'm assuming that's the implication that we're supposed to take from that, is that, um, yeah, that belonged to that guy that we've like actually been reading his journals, 
That's fascinating. And don't forget, now with the second one. Splash. Should sure we just turn the senses on, make sure there's not another mine or something around here that I should be aiming for? Oh look, there's one. And I got a skill point for that. That's cool. So I don't quite know where this is. This, this is another problem with the game is that like in some places the storyline is really tight and in other places it kind of meanders a bit and this is a meandering bit. Thanks. So um, Alex has been gone That's a long right. time. Alex should have been back by now. Dr. Whitman. Oh goody. Everyone's favourite doctor. Who are you shooting at? <laughs> Lara just so unimpressed with him. How many are there? I don't know. Are you hurt? I couldn't see anyone. <sighs> Must have scared them off. <sighs> Feel like I've run for miles. And you've barely broken a sweat. Must be fitter than I thought. You could have led them straight to us, like you did She's back She's just in so. What? That's not how it was, Laura. They, they they caught me while you were getting Sam. What the hell is this about? Jackass. They said it was the only way they'd let you and the others live. I I tried to warn you. I think he's got a different gun than everyone else. That's interesting. This. Look, I don't know what the problem is between the two of you, and to tell you the truth, I don't much care. The fact that he's a traitorous murdering jackass. Look, another word, and I swear to God, I'll start smashing that expensive dentistry of yours. Stop, stop, stop. If we fight amongst ourselves, then we lose. Good old Jonah. I like Jonah. You're right. Which is why this is not happening, okay? I'm going after Alex. Where were the tools? The engine room. Look, he can take care of himself, Lara. Good. He we'll couldn't take soon. care of margarine as it spread on him because he's white bread. <laughs> oh, Lara, Whitman. Wait. Here, take this bow. I've been saving it for you ever since I found it. It's powerful. You can shoot an arrow into almost anything. That is a cool Thank bow. You. Proper modern recurve bow. I'm coming, Alex. Bing. I wonder if this would upgrade if you hadn't found all the parts for the hunting bow. Would that just upgrade automatically? Okay, so I've got a skill point. And I'm going to put it into cartography so that all the tomb entrances and all that gets located, revealed on my map. Just in case I decide to start going for collectibles. And we're going to upgrade into the bow because that's now where we can put our upgrades. So I get napalm arrows, that's cool. Or plaited strings, which increase the arrow damage. So I'm definitely going to get those. I don't think I can afford the napalm arrows, though. No. Right. So that's where I'm going to um, leave this episode off. This hopefully really will be a short one actually I shouldn't do that I should go and talk to people so that I can hear what they have to say about this Laura I hope you understand up at the palace there was nothing I could do liar so you said <clears throat> well yes <clears throat> No, no time to talk. I'd, I'd like to record One of my favourite things so about this story is you see so many games and movies and books hmm? what? where the traitorous really? character well, is believed and Lara just doesn't at any point. She did not have any of that bullshit. And she's like, nope, you're a treacherous bastard. An old copy of Robinson Crusoe. <laughs> <laughs> Cruel irony. Huh. Well, I'll say. he eventually escapes the island. Let's take that as a good sign. Thus, we never see the true state of our condition till it is illustrated to us by its contraries, nor know how to value what we enjoy, but by the want of it. We are going to survive this. Okay, as someone who narrates audiobooks for a living, 
Of course we are. Don't you worry. That sort of a sentence is much harder to say than you think it is. Laura will bring Alex back. Then we'll all, uh, hmm. What was it they were chanting? God. I don't really want to talk now, Lara. Just go find Alex. It's cool with me. I am gravy. And there's Ray. Once I get this all hooked up, Jonah and I should be able to hoist out the engine and make the repairs. I'm gonna need my tools. Whatever you do, bring those back, Lara. Come on, stop messing around. Get out to the endurance and get my tools. Yes, ma'am. Now where's Jonah? If I can just find Jonah, then I can finish up this episode. Jonah, Jonah, there you are. Lara, the endurance beached on the other side of those cliffs. You can probably use that new bow to make your way there. Maybe on those rocks across from the dock. Any sign of those scavengers? Mm. Thank you Nothing. for being so it's helpful quiet. and specific, Jonah. Out there, I don't know what they're waiting for. If they're out there. Look, Lara, I know you don't trust Whitman, but we have Not to stick together now. All. He might be getting a little wrapped up in this whole place, but I don't think he'd betray us. I Jonah, you're, right. you're an awful judge of character. Alex has been gone too long. I shouldn't have let him go alone. You should go now. You gotta find Alex. Okay, so that really is everything. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you at the next one when we go and save Alex. Bye!